Hi guys, it's me again, Lynn from Deal in Real Life. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Deal in Real Life. Facebook is Deal in and Deal in Real Life. Instagram is Deal in Real Life or my personal account, Linda Ampadu. TikTok is Deal in underscore Real Life. Now, I've seen a trending video and um, yes, I'm going to have my take on this particular video that I saw on social media. But before then, let me open the door a bit for fresh air. Yeah, so uh, I've seen, uh, it's about one of our top musicians in Ghana called Shatawale. His mom coming out to plead with um, her son that she's very poorly, she's sick, she's ill, that uh, for almost 10 years now she's not seen her son or heard from him. So she's pleading with him to uh, come to her aid. But my question is, why social media? Why social media? What exactly is going on? What exactly have you done wrong to your son? As a big star that your son is, your son Shatawale Charles Niama, as big as he is and we all see how Shatawale talks and in fact put his hands on his chest that he's one of the richest if not the richest amongst all the musicians in Ghana how is it difficult for him to look after his mom and we all see the kind of donations he does shatter sprays money to his fans his loved ones like it's nobody's business so how is it so difficult for him to look after his mother. And this question, I'm actually throwing it at, at the mum because it's, it's kind of strange. It is weird. It doesn't sit well, honestly. It's not even sinking in my, in my head. How is that possible? Your son is one of the top celebrities, one of the top musicians in Ghana. Like, literally, Shatter Pool's crowd. Shatter makes money. Charles Niyama does not joke about his money, especially if you want to book him and bring him abroad for a show. The kind of amount he will be mentioning, it clearly tells you that this man, this young man or this guy does not joke with his money. And he himself, he says it with his chest up high that he's got money. So what exactly have you done to him? Let's, let's face fact here. Nobody is perfect. But some African parents, I need to address this because I'm a, I'm, myself, I'm a victim. Some African parents have got this mentality that you are my son, you are my daughter, you are my child, or you all are my children. So whatever it is that I want you to do is what you do. You have to dance to my beat. You have to dance to my tune. But it shouldn't always be like that. In fact, it shouldn't be like that. My, my question to the mom is, why social media? There are so many people in a family of which I believe that there's much people, elderly people, young people in Shatawale's family that the mom could have gone through this avenue to get hold of her son. Why social media? Because the moment you bring such things on social media, people like us will definitely have our take on it. And on this note, I would like to talk to people like my type who actually uh, treat uh, issues like this or trending issues on social media. Try and treat it with so much care that when you see the person that you, you spoke about uh, their issue, you can at least say hello to each other. It wouldn't be like... That person wants to strangle you to death when they see you. We must be very careful because every issue that pops up is sensitive. It might not be to you, but it might to the person that it is about. It, 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 it is going to be a sensitive issue to the person that uh, the issue is about. So why don't you... 
as a blogger, vlogger, um, motivational speaker, um, wh whoever you are that, you know, that you equally have your take on other people's trending issue. Why don't you treat issues with care? And a bit more of uh, respect. Because I've seen, after this issue of Chateauwale's mom dropped, I've seen some people, you know, having their take on it, talking about it. But with so much disrespect towards this woman. Yes, I know something is wrong somewhere. There is this big secret that we all don't know. Perhaps we might never get to know. But why the insult? Why the disrespect? Imagine this woman being your mother or a family relatives, how, how would you feel? How would you have seen it? Seeing people insulting her on social media just because she's the one that brought the issue out. We need to be careful how we talk about other people's issues. I'm back again on the case. My question to Shatawale's mom is why social media? You could have contacted, I mean, he's not the only child. You, f you could have gone through some of his siblings, if not all of them. He comes from a family. There should be aunties, uncles, uh, grandmas, granddads, nephews, nieces, cousins. You know, why? even family friends. Sometimes you might not even listen to our own family members, but maybe that particular family friend or those particular family friends, you know, why social media, man? I, I re you, this thing does not sit well with me. It, I've got so much questions in my head. Like, because I'm a victim, I will not blame Shatter and I will not blame the mum because I don't know what exactly is going on from within. But my question is, why social media? Why bring it on social media? There are so many ways to kill a cat. Why social media? Knowing perfectly how big your child is in the society or in the world. How people look at him, how, how he's doing, how well he's doing. Knowing perfectly that anything concerning Shata is a news. It's like Buyaka. Everybody will talk about why social media, ma'am. Ma, I don't think I say more about social media, so. Sorry, I mean, Gamanche, penny for penny for even in the what's it called in the industry that Shatter finds himself. There are top, top people that he gives so much respect to. How, did you bother going through these people to get hold of your son? Or to allow them smoke peace pipe between you and your son? Why social media? My question is, why social media? Shut up. If for whatever reason that your mom has done to you, that is making you to distance yourself from her if it is not going to affect you please put her on your payroll give her your monthly um what's it called monthly money for her upkeep send her to the hospital that she needs you know because she said in her video that she is not feeling well it will really hurt me to see things go on like this and then your mom in the process loses her life and seeing you at the funeral or not seeing you at the funeral at all. That would be so painful because one way or the other, there wasn't any uh, peace pipe smoke between the two of you before your mom lost her life, God forbid. But here you are at the funeral or here you are didn't attend the funeral it will be such a pain but you know what i don't know what's happening between you and your mom but i can understand you because i am a victim some of our parents you need to know how to treat your children 
know how to go about certain things when it comes to your very own children. Don't think children will never grow. A lot of African parents, even when their children are 60 years, just because they are alive, they still see them as kids because they gave birth to them. But it shouldn't be. It honestly shouldn't be. You give respect to those that respect are due. It's simple as that. Yes, he is your biological child. But you know, children also grow. Yes, he pen you no be be that now called ye. And I'm calling soon ye. Ebe ye pen you for. So please, shut up. If only there is a chance for you to smoke peace pipe with your mom, please do. Smoke it with her right now that she is alive. Now that she is still alive. Smoke peace pipe with her. You don't need to be this tight, tight, no. If you don't want that, you shouldn't. But at least take care of her. Because I know you can. Unless, of course, whatever she's done to you has cut you so deeply in your heart that forgiveness is not even part of what you are even thinking of that is a choice what i am what i am doing right now is i'm advising you and it's a choice for you to take it leave it or drop it nobody can force the horse to drink the water at the riverside after forcing it to the riverside you can always force a horse to the riverside. But mind you, you can never force it to drink. So I can only advise Shatter to at least... The mom is saying she is sick. You just take her to the hospital. Give her her monthly allowance. I know it wouldn't hurt you. It will not even tickle you. You've got your shaxi, uh, your taxi company. You've got your real estate. You are still very much active in the music industry. You're earning your money so well in the music industry. I know whatever amount you will give your mom at the end of the month or within the month would not even tickle your balls. It will not do nothing to you. Stop your mom from coming on social media because one way or the other, however you see it, it might be able to go against you and your brand as a whole. It might not have effect immediately, but trust me. This social media you see like this, it can make and break at the same time. So shut up, please. Ma'am, if you feel you've offended your child, African parents, it's so difficult for us to apologize to our children. Please, nobody is above the word sorry. Do apologize to him and smoke peace pipe with him. But if you know you've not done anything wrong, then just pray to your God that he touches your son's heart so he will look after you. I don't know what has gone on, like I said earlier on in this conversation that I'm having with you guys out there. Me and you were not there, we'll be brought for. Someone's English, me and you were not there. I don't know exactly what is happening from inside. However, I wish... I honestly wish and I pray to this universe that Shatter's mom will find peace with her son. I'm hoping and praying that one of these days we all will wake up and see the social media going, you know, oh, Shatter and his mom, they are vibing, you know, they are making it look good. And I hope the same energy most people have insulted this woman with, they would then, that day, that faithful day, when that faithful day does approaches, you still use this same energy to come and talk good about these two people, which is Charles Niyama, Shatawale, and his mother. To the family members of Shatter, if you guys could do something about this whole issue that is happening between Shatter and the mom, please do it if you are in the industry and you feel you can 
help solve this issue please do because this is so sensitive this issue is so so sensitive and as a mother i wouldn't forever for even a second want to have this thing with any of my five children it is my wish i don't ever have this whatever is happening between shatter and his mom I don't ever wish to have that happen between me and any of my five children. This was my take on this trending issue about Shatawale and his mom. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Dealing Real Life. Thank you all so much.